Hello and welcome into the FCS Huddle. I'm your host, Elliot Shaw, alongside the FCS Senior Editor for Stats, Craig Haley. And Craig, we, the, we are here. Thanksgiving weekend, what does that mean? It means the <laughs> FCS playoff. And it's going to be a crazy, crazy one, that's for sure, if the regular season wasn't wild enough. I mean, here we go. We got a 24-team, one-and-done tournament. I mean, give us your impressions of the bracket now that it's out there. <laughs> well, it doesn't get any better than 24-one-and-done, yeah. <laughs> and done, huh? No. Um, <laughs> I, I think there's a lot of knee-jerk reaction when you look at it. Stay off of social media yeah, because right, right. <laughs> there's a lot of negativity. <laughs> um, I, I think people have to remember it, it's seeded one through eight in the FCS. Those teams get the buy. After that, it's not seeded. Nine through 24, it's a regional tournament. So it's, it's possible that the ninth best team is playing the 12th best team because right. they're regionally matched. It's, it's unfortunate. It's not the fairest way, but that's part of the process at this point. Right. Uh, it's not seated one through twenty-four. No, it's and it's funny because we, you know, I printed out the bracket and it's yeah, it's a it's a pretty wild one. Uh, I mean, get, I guess looking at it, you know, fresh off the presses, who who should like their draw and who who really sure. shouldn't be happy with their draw? Well, I mean, talking regionally, I mean, uh, the Missouri Valley Conference had the f most seeds five. All five are on one side of the bracket. Toughest conference out there. That's uh, very tough to manage. I mean, the, the, the CAA had four teams, but they were sp split two and two on, on sides, each side of the bracket. Big Sky was next with three teams. They were split two and one. Missouri Valley wasn't. It is regional. It's going to be very tough. Um, I think Illinois State uh, it, it should be pleased with their side of the bracket. Their, their group of four or six, if you will. Mm -hmm. North Dakota State, uh, the number three seed. Defending champions for four years n should not be happy. Uh, they're in what I would call the, the uh, group of death. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> they're in with uh, Northern Iowa. Um, they're in with Portland State. They're in with Montana um, themselves. I mean, you, you got you to say uh, pity Eastern Illinois for being in that group of six. Man, but, oh, man. But uh, I, I think Illinois State has to be pleased. I think Jacksonville State has, has a pretty good draw. Um, but we'll see. Right, and I know you wrote about the CAA qualifiers. Uh, I guess what kind of stands out to you from that? Well, I think uh, Jack, uh, James Madison getting uh, the number five seed. I think James Madison is worthy of a seed. I think five might have been a little high. I, I kind of projected them to be going for that eighth one. Maybe they were one spot out, but th they did get the five. Uh, they, they, beat, uh, they, they, they lost to Richmond. They lost to William & Mary, even though all three shared the title. But they were the one with the highest seed. Uh, Richmond got the seventh seed. Uh, William Mary unseeded. I think that stands out. I think New Hampshire getting in for a 12th straight year, terrific program. Uh, John McDonald's terrific coach, great for them. At the same time, Towson did not get in. Uh, Towson and, and North Dakota from uh, the Big Sky were the two that were the, the first two out of the mix. Towson should not be pleased uh, not to be in, especially with New Hampshire getting in. Right. All right. Okay. Now. Prediction time, our favorite time of the show. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know if I should be excited about it. I'm a little nervous about my pick just because it's kind of scratch, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you right now. I got Jacksonville State all the way over Illinois State. It's a little bold, but I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I do still have North Dakota State in that final four just because of their reputation. I mean, it's hard not to. Um, but all right, Craig, what do you got? <laughs> Mine's uh, flip, flip uh, yours and mine is uh, Illinois State uh -huh. winning it all. Okay. Beat, I'll say they'll beat Jacksonville State down in Frisco. Interesting. And, and like I said, you've been, you've been pretty high on Illinois State this whole season. We've talked about that, and uh, I guess it still rings true. So that'll, that'll be interesting. It's, it's going to be fun times this next month, that's for sure, with the FCS playoffs. So you better stay on top of everything. So check out the website, fcs.football. Also, I know Craig said to stay off social media, but that's for a lot of the writers and everything. <laughs> Follow us at FCS underscore stats, and I'm sure Craig would still love for you to follow him because he's got a lot to write about. He, this is his crazy time of the year. So at Craig Haley, that's his Twitter handle. I'm Elliot Shaw. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you for watching.